two years later, and um, we've done all we can do. One of the FBI's largest ever civil rights murder investigations, the Mississippi burning case, is closing. At this point, the evidence uh, it has been uh, degraded by memories and over time, and so there are no uh, individuals that are living now uh, that we can make a case on at this point. More than 50 years after someone murdered civil rights workers, James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwerner in Neshoba County. A young man were killed on June 21st, 1964. Mr. Killen, do you have any comments? A jury convicted former Klansman and Baptist preacher Edgar Ray Killen on manslaughter charges in 2005. He's serving 60 years in prison. Hood said two suspects tied to the killings, Pete Harris and Jimmy Lee Townsend, are still alive, but he couldn't persuade witnesses to testify against them. There was some evidence implicating uh, both of those individuals, but those were statements that were not testified to at, at trial in 1964 or in 2005. Pete Harris, it was he made some telephone calls allegedly uh, to gather up Klansmen. He didn't go to the killing party. And, and the other one was a young man at the time who was in the car when it broke down and stayed with a broken down car. This 48-page FBI document lists possible suspects and witnesses in the investigation, including one person known only as the Meridian Klansman. Hood said Harris and Townsend may never be held accountable. There are witnesses out there, but they just wouldn't, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't, they weren't prepared to go testify uh, against these two individuals. Now,